So I've loaded up the skin into header UV and I'm going to um, basically now put seams on it and unwrap it. So I'm just going to take the end cap off this tail, um, hit keyboard C, and then to remove it off, it's just it's enter. And then if I hit D, sends it away to another screen. Um, keyboard C gives us a, a seam all the way underneath, a split all the way underneath the tail. And Shift and S will split that open, and D will send that away. Um, these bits are quite easy because they're all just tubes, so we can use keyboard C. And this is the back of the model all the way along, and then Shift S, Shift S, Shift S, Shift S. Open them all up, and then just send them away one at a time with keyboard D. And it just leaves us now with the head and the eyes. The eyes are only really temporary, but I'm going to UV map them anyway on a separate UV map. So. I'll just do um, all the way from the back and all the way to the front. I'll send them away as well, so they're out of the way. Okay, so this is only the hobbyist version of headers, so I haven't got um, the symmetry function uh, on this version, so we're gonna have to do the head. Um, both sides, um, which is it's one of the disadvantages and one of the reasons to buy the uh, the bigger version. So if you just run a split around the ears, the red means it's a confirmed um, split, the yellow is a suggested, so we can get rid of those with W, and that's that ear split off. And we'll just run a split back and front on the ear. And then enter to split the shell off and then that's gone same on this side I'm not too worried about seams on this model because um, a lot of the texturing will be done in uh, ZBrush and the seams are so easy to fix in ZBrush um, just by using a clone tool across the seams so as long as the scale of the shells is fine so you don't have an ear that's bigger than Oops, gone slightly wrong there. This line, I hit the wrong line all the way along there. So to undo it, it's W. And go back and split the line where it should have been, all the way around the center. You can open the ears up in one part if you want, but like I say, I'm not too bothered um, with this one. A lot of the head's going to be under the helmet, so again, don't worry about um, a lot of the back of the head, so we can get rid of all that in one swoop. Like so. And what we'll do is, um, we could unwrap that pretty much like it is, but I'll actually split off the chin as well. You, you need to understand where you can cope with seams so you can see the neck front there if you're not bothered about the seams then fine now inside here we've got a mouth bag um, and we if we just put a little split there we'll see where that comes now nowhere near where I want so I want the I want the seam to fall inside the mouth or I want the where the split is there like so and then just have a look on the inside that's right so I want that to go underneath there and that should split the mouth bag off like so and the mouth should be okay there it might be a little bit too much geometry in there but we'll see same with the nostrils I've got two little nostril um, Clips there they can go because again you're not too worried about that area and the last one that you'll need is inside the eyes so just run a split all the way around the inside of the eye might be a little bit tricky in there so 
see how the seam ran round, ran rampant inside as I hit it. So you just want to make sure you've got one continuous loop inside. Just using C and V until I get what I need and then get rid of it. Same again. C and V until you get rid of it. Now we'll try and unwrap that. The nose could be a problem on this, but we'll we'll give it a go. Um, it's not a very high res character, so we should be okay. Any problems we can come back. So if I hit D now, that's all of those parts done. Um, and then if we go to display and then UV, you'll see all the shells lined up. There's one there that's an error, which we may have to send back. In fact, I will do that now. Um, everything else seems pretty okay. So first of all, let's just take um, the tail. So the first bit of the tail was just that end cap. If I just hit F, that'll just straighten that out and flatten it. Now the big part of the tail, I'll use Shift and F, and that will unstretch it or stretch it out, and then lay it flat for you. And that's that shell done. You can just move these out of the way. Just space bar. And keep moving on now. So this one again. Shift, that's, that's part of the leg done. The body, the colours that you're seeing, green means you've got blue and red for stretch and squash, so avoid blues and reds. Green, or the more closer to the bright green you've got, the better. Just send that other leg back just to recheck it. The eyes will be straightforward for now because, as I say, these are going to be temporary ones. Ears will flatten them down. Shift and F. Shift and F. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we'll just do the back of the head, stretch that right out. Might be a bit stretched, but again, it's under the helmet, so I'm not too worried. The front will be fine. Little bits of the mag uh, bag mouth, mouth bag, and the eyes won't really make any difference anyway. We'll just so you'll see a little bit of red and a little bit of blue in there, but again, I'm not overly worried about those areas because they'll never be seen. And then the last bit, which is the big one, is the head. So we'll let that calculate a little bit longer now, so it'll pull it out longer and longer and longer. And then hit space and let it see what it does. It's not too bad till it gets to that point and then it uh, starts to compress. So, what you can do there is you can use a number of tools. So, I'll use Shift and R and that will smooth it out for me and that will get rid of a lot of the stretching. Or well, there's just R on its own and there's X as well. And you can see as I'm painting around that, it's tightening that seam up nicely. Tightening up the uh, the edges nicely. The one I use the most is Shift and R. So that nose is always going to be a stretch problem there, unless we cut the, the, the cap of the nose off. But for this project, I'm more than happy with that. And the mouth will just tighten it up. Okay, so we know we've got some stretching inside the mouth and on the lips, but other than that, we're quite okay. Now let's just switch back to uh, the editor and we'll have a look at these pieces here and see if there was a, I think there was a problem. So that one's absolutely fine. And that one had a problem because we left one little piece there. So shift. That one's fine, that can go back, and that one was fine anyway. So again, on the on this mode here, you can see the areas that, so it's the arm and the leg, they're the ones that we've just done that still need to be done. So back into 
UV. And they should appear in the end, so we'll just open them up. There we go. Now there's a box here. Um, you can just simply hit pack all and it will try its best to pack everything in to that area. This is a slight problem in that the tail is so long so it's stretched out a little bit further than I wanted so if we just realign all of the parts so that will be the body in the centre we've got an arm leg with the knee at the bottom leg with the knee at the bottom another arm and then head in the middle neck back of the head and then we've got the ears which will just put all around one side just for convenience and then the eyes which again we may or may not use so I'm just using space by here and then there's the little bits uh, the tail cap can stay with the tail obviously let's just zoom in so we've got the mouth bag, which isn't something that I really worry about. There's the inside the eyes and inside the nostrils. There we go. Now what I was saying before about scale is, is because the head won't be, isn't attached to the body. Let's just move these down here. I don't mind actually scaling that up somewhat. If it was attached to it and um, you might see a difference in the scale so I'm just going to scale that up in fact what we might be able to do is get away with putting the tail vertically it doesn't get in the way quite so much always stay within the the red square because that is your UV space. There we go, that's better. Might just slightly readjust it. Um, and I'll just put the body side on for now. There we go, so the ears and the Oh, that's happy there, that in there. And there we go, all nicely spaced. So that's how to do the um, the UV map now. A couple of things to do. Um, just get the panel back. Uh, firstly, we'll um, save it. So just hit save, and then this was body skin. So I'll just change that to UV. You see it pop up there. And the second thing is if we go down to um, render here, and then if I just put uh, 2K in there and hit save, that will render me out a nice 2048 by 2048 um, image map. which you'll be able to see part of it there, it's full screen, so it's difficult. But it shows, it gives you an actual image map of the um, the UVs, which is useful. So we'll just um, save that. And that's the, uh, the UV mapping of the skin.